<sighs> it is what it is. This is what it is. Uh, it's to the point where sometimes apologies are not meant to be genuine. And this goes out to female nature, as far as that concerned. I don't really care anymore. Like, it's to the point where, like, I just can't really set apologies. Unless it's really genuinely, deeply mean it. But as far as female's nature is concerned, females going to do what they're going to do. You know, just move on with their life. And they're going to do the same thing over and over, so... I don't know what was the point or what's the use of, like, apologizing for it. And this is, like, in general. Um, and, I mean, this have to do a little bit of the comment on my previous video. You know, female just... Uh, you got a comment about her. She was deeply sorry about it. But, you know... It's just hard to like accept it because people just run off. People just run off with their uh, their foolishness, and it just seems like people are just really remorse. Just have no remorse, nor guilt. Like you know, of people's feelings. I feel, you know, I can show, like, I have a really, really hell of a negative side, too. And I showed the real reason why I did what I did, and I have no regrets doing it. You know, I love, I don't know, I don't like hurt people's feelings, nor I don't like to get angry. But, you know, people just take me there. And, you know, once you know, if you intentionally hurt my feelings and you know you're doing it really bad, there's no point in apologizing me for it. It really isn't. You want to be merciless? Okay, I'll be merciless back. But it's going to be more evil and gruesome than what I'm going to do. Sometimes I have like seething anger and I have like slow, pretty much slow to anger too. So it's like, I was the point of being around an unapologetic person. It was not going to uplift me or just, you know, have any proper guidance. I don't want to be around a moody person who doesn't like have like any positive outlook. You know, it's yeah. People out here are just not good people. You know, like I just don't really care anymore. Like, if you're looking forward to, you know, hurting my feelings or trying to manipulate me or, like, any other bull crap, then I just had to really leave. Because, like, that's not positive energy at all. You're just hindering my progress. Nobody wants like to be around people hindering my progress. And, you know, you have, like, Bullies at home, bullies at school. I mean, what is the point? You know, what is the point of associating with people like that? So, as a result, uh, you know, as a, you know, I set people to support you, but at the same time, I can't. It's like half and half for me. You know, I 
means I said people said take it or leave it. He said or women would be saying like what's well, like how you gonna move on if you're not gonna set people's apologies well. And again, you wanna be guiltless or merciless or have like bad intentions around me and don't really apologize for it. And then not and that's for me that I have to reveal what you did wrong in the past. And I ain't gonna apologize. That's not how it works. Like women are logically mentally slow. Or better get emotionally slow, if you will. Women or women have are naturally I don't know women are naturally inbreded, but in my opinion though, my humble opinion, I think they're Satan's personal prostitutes in my eyes. Because they don't like they take action and they think later, but us men we think in thing before we take action. I guess for certain women, uh, like think about stuff, like it's rare to find women who just think before they act, but you know, like it's, it is what it is. If female nature is gonna like, do repeating this devilish cycle of like feeling like regretting it like un be, be unregretful then be regretful later on I'm not buying it yeah, I'll accept your apology you know a little bit but the rest of the 90% of it is is bullcrap really is that's why I feel like would I can relate to how James Brown was in that movie on uh, get on up I felt his pain on that one because as a kid like he has to go through brothels and going through like a boxing match with like kids and like it, at that time it was it was still slavery at the time in around the early 20th century. No, I can really, when, I, when he was in that dressing room talking to his mom, she came out of nowhere. And when he was like, you know, in his prime and like he was up there. And his mom has a nerve to come around the dressing room randomly and talking to him, and she's actually proud of him. Sometimes I don't really want that moment because spiritually it's disgusting. It really is. I'll be sad and angry at the same time as well. Living the frustration, but I have to like move on from it because a lot of these stuff is not really my problem. But in the past, in retrospect, I really regretted you know, talking to the older woman. That was in my comment session saying she's deeply sorry. Yeah, I regret talking to her. I regret composing. I, I regret Kyrie game with her. That was my fault. But at the same time, I have to move on. It is really my turn. And I feel like it's never too late to be unapologetic and be in regret. So. like the dark side of me is starting to, starting to crack off and like just starting to peel off. 
starting to like the skin is starting to come off of me. Sometimes females make you be this way, but it's, it's, it's weird to them. Like you know, they we did this to ourselves. But the chivalry is all bullshit anyway. It all starts from that. It's all this manipulative, projecting shit. You know? I just don't... I, I can't do it anymore. I don't know, like, I, I'm laughing because I just see how female nature is. Like, when I have, like, when I fully progress, and, like, when I'm, like, up on top, I really don't want to hear any apologies anymore. You can regret that to TikTok or any social media platform. I don't really, I don't really give a fuck. Really don't. I like. I don't really care. You hit the wall. I even care less how much STDs you had, or I don't care. Or like how many body counts you had. You the one did that to yourself. I didn't like put you in gunpoint and encourage you to do it. Nobody in the McTow community encourage you to do it. That's why I laugh at people, laugh at women's remorse. I really do. Because you laughed, you laughed at my pain, you laughed at my mistakes. Now, it's time to give you the vicious favor that you won't that you won't really be happy for. Or I should say bargain. So that being said, I'm blind assassin MGTOW. I'll talk to you later. Peace.